Meanwhile, India Today speaks to top epidemiologist Dr. Eric Ding, who raises concerns over COVID crisis in India right now, says the actual numbers could be five times of what is really being recorded. Let's take a listen. All the variants that have been seen in India, be it the double mutating variant or be it the Brazil variant or the UK variant or the P1 uh, uh, variants that matter, the South African variant, none of these seem to be leading or contributing significantly to the surge. Why do you think the government is saying this? Well, it's unclear because uh, India is not sequencing enough cases. And if you don't sequence enough cases, you cannot make that claim, period. Um, I saw one study that actually said that uh, the double mutation B1617 uh, is surging to be 60% in one pocket of India. But obviously, that's not enough testing. You need sequencing on a large scale, like at least 10% of your cases, to know what kinds of variants. And you need to sequence to know that are your lockdown measures, are your containment measures just reducing the old variant? Or is, it, uh, or is it actually reducing the new contagious variant? Uh, getting more diagnosis done in the country, and that's not happening. So in your estimate, what could the real numbers in India be right now in terms of actual number of COVID cases? I think the actual number of COVID cases can be five times to 10 times higher, to be honest. Because even in developed countries, we know that we're not capturing every case. Uh, we know that the, the window of opportunity to even test and get a positive case is sometimes very narrow. And in addition, we don't have enough testing capacity in even some many countries to get results quickly enough. Because uh, it's testing, but also testing and fast contact tracing. And if you're not able to do that, you know, the contact tracing is a limited utility, especially when there's a runaway epidemic. The RT-PCR test is showing negative. And when the patient is in hospital, a CT scan is being done and that shows that the infection is actually in the lungs. Uh, a, that's there. So basically the infection giving RT-PCR test, the duck, and also children are being hospitalized right now, something that wasn't really seen last year in the first wave of the infection in the country. Yeah, this is a very interesting. First of all, in France, there's another variant that's not discussed enough. It is a very ev PCR evasive COVID. Basically, it's a COVID SARS coronavirus that does not show up on PCR tests that often. It, it shows up rarely and very difficult to pick up. It, it's That's part of the property of that variant. It's a, a half invisible uh, ghost variant. And it's, it's possible that it's also in India as well, but it's one of those really hard to find cases. And also, the, the, even though you could have COVID, you could have it deep in your lungs, and then your nasal test may miss it. Um, and the COVID also can live in there for a long, long time and sometimes reactivate. And the a window to actually test positive is actually narrower than many people think. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.